Cabo Realtor Dane Posey with a cautionary tale for those of you that are currently in the market in Cabo to purchase. And when I say this, I say it with nothing but peace and love, peace and love. That is the truth. But the reality of the situation is that the market is heating up and properties are moving, even though it's the summer, even though it's the end of the spring season. And I had a client that recently contacted me to tour my La Jolla D201 beachfront unit listed at 649,000. And since I was in the area, I said, absolutely, I will meet you there. And while we were there, he was asking all the right questions and he really loved the property. He indicated he wanted to make an offer and he asked me, how long has this been on the market? Great question. In fact, if you were to Google questions that you should ask your realtor while on tour, that's probably a top three, top five, top three. I'd say top three, top two maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I told him it was seven months and it had been with another realtor prior to me. And so I think that that gave him a little bit of pause. So he said, well, I, I, I'd really like to make an offer, but I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna consider. Now I'm a no pressure guy. I mean, sounds great. Enjoy your trip back home. And so while he's home, he gets online and he starts looking at some other properties that are available, one being a penthouse unit beachfront. And so we're doing our due diligence and we're asking all the questions and trying to figure out where we're gonna come in for an offer. And sure enough, the property gets sold. Unfortunate, but that happens. So we move on to Palmia and we're looking at a property that's been on the market for a very long time without any offers. And we're doing our due diligence and we want to check the motivation of the owner and see if there's any seller financing available. Sure enough, that gets sold too. So now we're 0 for 2. And so now he's coming back and he's saying, you know, that beachfront unit, I, it's really, I, I can't get it out of my mind. And I had the unfortunate experience of having to tell him, I'm sorry, but that property is under contract now and it's going to be closing on June 10th. So obviously the guy's devastated and decides he's gonna rent for six months because he needs to find the property that's right for him and he's lost out on three. I call that paralysis by analysis and I just frankly, I don't wanna see it happen to you. So if you find a property that you love, it's important that we make an offer, even if we have to make it contingent upon seeing it, contingent upon property inspection, contingent upon just we need time to think of other contingencies, let's just write it. And during our due diligence period, we can always pull back, but otherwise you could lose out on a property and I just don't wanna see that happen to you. I'm Dane Posey and I look forward to helping you and I'm always available to answer your questions or emails.